Hi, I'm Lori Stabinski. I have been practicing for over 25 years as a nurse practitioner and happy to do it, happy to be with my patients. Well, it's a complicated disease process um, that affects women of reproductive years. It truly is a metabolic endocrine disorder uh, that does affect uh, women and causes some, some issues throughout that reproductive years. When women first approach us with some irregular bleeding, um, they haven't had their period for a number of months, uh, either heavy bleeding as well can also be another telltale sign. Um, sometimes they are, you know, at their wits ends with hair loss or um, some fertility issues. So these are kind of all signs of polycystic ovarian syndrome, which again, metabolic disorder um, happens in the ovaries, that we have an overproduction of androgens or those male hormones in a female's body that shouldn't be that excessive. Depends on the patient and where they're at in their reproductive years. We look at, are they looking for fertility um, in the near future? Or are we just wanting to regulate menstrual cycles? You know, weight gain is a, in, another issue with women. So, you know, weight loss can be very beneficial um, for those patients to kind of help to regulate their cycles. You know, we put women on birth control, again, regulating those cycles. Um, for fertility, it may be something to do with ovulation uh, induction, where we want to stimulate the ovaries to help produce eggs to be released. Because overall, with PCOS, those irregular cycles means women usually are not ovulating, and there's usually an underlying reason for those that we try to investigate. Well, again, the weight loss is very important. Most PCOS patients, and not all of them, can be more overweight. 10% weight loss can be very beneficial for those patients looking to try to regulate their cycles. The other thing is trying to get the um, high levels of testosterone, which is usually a, in higher doses in PCOS women, to be able to kind of come down or stabilize. Excess testosterone certainly can cause hormonal acne. It can certainly cause excessive hair growth as male pattern types of excessive hair growth. Um, so those are some of the things in treatments. So we may give some Clomid or, you know, Letrozole for these women uh, with that suffer from PCOS that are looking to become pregnant. It's a full complement with PCOS. Patients have to be patient um, in regards to getting a treatment that will be beneficial to them. It is a full cycle, whether we get an endocrinologist on board with us, seeing the fertility physician if we have to, or a provider and moving forward with that. Thank you again for allowing me to speak to you about PCOS and hopefully you can reach out to us and come on back and we can talk about the different options for the treatment of PCOS.